Sorry, folks. The game you're watching on your string is called um, Watch Me Jump. It's an adventure game, apparently. Full screen, press F4 to switch between full screen and window mode. The game will automatically save after every conversation. Press X save to access the pause menu. Um, start the game. Free game. Indianapolis. April. Eleven fifteen PM. Open to Repos Hotel, any ask for your economy, stay. Front desk left, elevators up, bar right, fitness center down. Fitness center. Fitness center is closed for the evening and will reopen tomorrow morning. Damn, it's a twenty four hour gym directly connected to my hotel, just much to ask. Repos. Let's see you again, Miss Mills. Most everything in the hotel is closed for the night, but the bar is still open. Not to imply that you're, uh, I wasn't. I just thought you'd like to know. What are the important things open? What can I get you? Bourbon. Shot of Kelly Reserve, straight. Put on my tab, Danny. Sure thing. Start a conversation? Uh, I'm sure. Why not? That was yours. My beer? It's fine. I prefer the IPA, but it can't. Do we know each other? I don't think so. Have we met? Uh, be direct. I play for the WNBA. Hold up. You're Audra B. Mills. For the Minnesota Lynx. You're really good. Ah, uh, why not? I'll take the compliment. It's all you're here for. Forever. I live here. Well, not like the hotel. That would be weird. It was a super important job. My host is at trophies. That's how I watched you play. You show all the ESPNs. ESPN 3, ESPN. Cheers. Watch me jump. By Jeremy Gable. Oh, he's using the same font that I'm using. First quarter. Indianapolis. Six months later. 12.03 a.m. This is not an attack. We're not attacking you. That's something I want to make clear. This is not an attack against you. Definitely not. We just need to clarify that, uh... You are going to come to us with a lot of questions. Questions that are going to be difficult to answer. And different kinds of questions. Sure, we need to know what to say. Well, no, we... Zach and I can answer the questions. You don't have to tell us what to say. But your head coach, I need to make absolutely sure that we're on the same page here. Unity. Okay. The important thing is that this fix though, it's not the end of your career. You're still a member of the Lynx. So and I talk to the team owner as well as the league president. They agree with us. 
Okay, I didn't want her to know that. That thing we were talking, because she just, you know... Not... Yes, we talked to Danielle and Gary, and yes, they agree. Talk to your agent. Tell you deals with this all the time. You're still part of RDW NBA. This thing changes nothing. It's not drugs, it's not crime. It didn't hurt anyone. It was just a girl at the bar, nothing more. Certainly no one here cares whether, you, whether or not you're gay. Speak up. Uh oh. I'm not gay. Right, we can use that. They say we went to her room, but that doesn't mean to add sex. But you don't have to worry about whether or not I'm gay. But you kind of are. You're bisexual then. Don't give me that groove out pansexual and shit. But then again, we'll like gender fluid, and you, then that might come into play, but yeah. He is by. For all the heroin, yeah, seriously, Sophie, just a few drinks. Hey, we can work with that. And the league president is on our side, so it's not an issue. So what's going to happen is you'll have to give a press conference, answer one or two questions about it, and just remain civil. Sure. get through this. Worst hotel room ever. Keep exploring. Not sure if it's my job and it pays me more than this one does. Get into it. Let's see what comes out. 
Who? <laughs> She's saying a deal in Russia. Who got it? He says you keep her sober, and I've done a good job. We have a drunken skin on our hands. I didn't say a perfect job. We're hanging on by a thread sack. You'd be watching her. I can't watch everything all the time, Sophie. I'm not saying to watch everything. I'm saying it's a problem you can't keep track of our star forward. Oh, she might not be our star forward much longer, so. Uh oh. Spill the beans. What? End of quarter. So after quarter two. Spokane, Washington, four years earlier. Destroy it. Ooh. Oh, she's a hothead if you want her to be. <laughs> Throw it.
in the second quarter. Indianapolis, October. 1 3 a.m. I know I'm shit right now, but I'm not going to worry about it. The library opens at dawn tomorrow. Summer Bill Leo Teka. A troll of this is not worth a vet. Now you try. You need to talk to him now. Oh boy. How is he mad at me when he's the one who snitched? Uh oh. Gee, what happened now? Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Uh oh, that is really not good. Not good. Oh dear, it's Ray fucking Rice, isn't it? You got the Ray Rice of the fucking WNBA. Admit fault, defend yourself. Wait a minute, how does it come out? If this was like six months ago, though, how's it coming out now? Oh, wow. Well, of course not. <laughs> if I beat up a woman and drive her to the hospital, those are the, and basically confess that I was responsible for her getting beat up, those are going to give a shit. Wow. <laughs> That's exactly what a fight is. Um... This is where shits and giggles. What happens if I hit n yes? Or no? <laughs> I 
At this point, you're probably gonna have to go to Rush after work. Oh boy. You killed her, didn't you? You paid the hoe. How much? Tell the truth, don't tell the truth. <laughs> it's actually getting pretty good. Usually these, uh... I thought this game was, this game was supposed to be based on a play, but I thought it was going like, to have her a, uh... Have her some kind of fair kind of virtue, but damn. That's so easy. Seven twelve AM Didn't need to fly out. I'm your agent. I should be here. Really I could get here fast enough. The moment you called me, I got dressed. Told Brian I had to go to Indianapolis. Didn't say why. That's how fast I was out the door. You know, on the first point, didn't care if they had business class, but he did, so that was nice. Got here, checked in, haven't looked at my room yet. I couldn't care less. How are you? Been better. Have you slept? My fixer's here. I can work with this. Seriously? I'm gonna have to pay somebody off or some shit. As long as you answer this one question for me. Do you want to win the playoffs? Uh, yeah. More than ever. Atta girl. Let me check this phone real quick. Yeah, more than ever. So here's the thing. We're going to have to make a compromise. I was having some audio difficulties with the last two, so I wanted to make sure like it's coming through clear on this one. This goes two directions and neither one is great. I was having some but they're what we got what do you need me to do just trust me absolutely okay so what are you doing we're gonna kill her and hide the body I'm sorry what that's our offer there's an offer being made? I didn't know this was the kind of situation that required an offer being made. Well, it is. There's a way this situation can benefit all of us. Benefit? That's not what I necessarily... So this is what we're talking about right now? Speak up. Hell yeah, it is. Audra, please, I can... This is what we have to talk about before any decisions are made. Both we'll stay with the links and turn down Russia's year-round offer, playing their off-season only. 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 If she's not punished by the WNBA for what happened to the girl. I can see how this is gonna go. Well, I can't control that. You can get the ball rolling. I just realized that was a pun. I didn't mean to make that. That's the thing I was called as league president. She's a one too. I know, and she's only going to listen to the team owner. So we need Gary to propose, I know. So we need to get him on the phone. No, he doesn't trust me. He won't listen to me. He needs to hear from you. He needs to hear that they suspend Audra. Not only do we use the playoffs, 
which, as you're aware, would be the fourth year in a row. Time to read Luckert, but then Audra goes to Russia, and the Minnesota Lynx drops to the bottom of the Western Conference standings. Everything you work for will be absolutely dumb. We are fighting for fifth place with the San Antonio Stars. And most importantly, everyone finds out that the WNBA's favorite player had to go to another country, another continent, just to be treated fairly. And any viewership you gain in the past four years goes right out the window. I don't think that we can afford that. But if this whole thing goes away, it's good for you, it's good for Audra, it's good for the Lynx, and it's good for the WNBA. But if she gets cut from the finals, she becomes the highest paid women's basketball player in the world. While the rest of you fight for relevance. Audra, you support this? Well, let's do it. I'm already a shitbird. Needs to go up the ladder, you're the first step. So the ball's in your court. Or we don't mean to keep making these puns. The video looked like self-defense to me. A crazy fan gets into an argument with her on an elevator. She feared for her life. She fought back. It wasn't a crazy fan. Everyone knows she slept with that girl. And whose business is that? Not ours. So unless that waitress comes forward, the Andrew Alder is doing a good job making sure that doesn't happen. By the way, Audra, I really wish you'd tell me about that. That's what I'm here for. Then this is simply self-defense. No need to punish that, I don't think. So Audra wants to join the team again. I never want to leave. I'm just looking out for myself. Hope you understand that. So that's our offer. We're what, 12 hours from game one? 11 and a half by my watch. So you better start making some calls. End of quarter. It's half time now. Now we're going back to Minneapolis four years earlier. My first act is your assistant coach. Getting me plastered. It's a bold strategy, but I like it. It's good, but funny gets you commercials. That's why I got into sports. To fill my ultimate dream of becoming an actor. If Sophie knows you're taking me out for a drink, we don't need anyone's permission. We're grown adults. We can make these choices for ourselves. But yeah, she said I could. So what is this? Are you like... What are you doing? I just offer a proposal. Oh, for way, I got some whiskey. Let's toast. But I'm sure we'll be a successful first season. Sounds good. But it's not whiskey. Yeah, I realize that now. Gusano is in bourbon. It's tequila. Gusano literally means warm in Spanish. I was weird at the bartender ask if I wanted salt. Anyway, I want this to be your last drink of the season. The choice is yours, but you're going to be very important to Sophie. And to the Lynx. And frankly, to the league as a whole. Everyone can see that. We need you. But more importantly, we need you thinking straight. So here's my proposal. Stay sober just for the season. If you need a drink, give me a call. We'll talk it out. After you finish playoffs, we'll toast again to a successful year. What do you say? Sure. I know it can be a problem. It's only a problem if you don't control it. And you can't control it alone. Trust me, I've been there. Really? Really. And that's what I'm here to do. You make it through the season, we'll share a bottle to celebrate. How's that sound? Hey, I drink with tequila? I didn't know. I'm a Jen guy. Jen? What is wrong with you? Audra. You have a deal? Sure, what the hell. Cheers. They're at quarter. Eleven fifty one AM. In my hotel room playing DS, Jesus, hi. The fuck are you doing here? Make sure you're sleeping. Get the fuck out of my room. Nope. I can't. Yeah, you can't. Doors over there. Sophie's order. She's making me keep an eye on you. Fuck, dude. Do you have to watch me sleep? I wasn't watching you sleep. 
I was playing solitaire. I'm trying to beat your score. They're giving me my passcode. What time is it? Almost noon. I'm supposed to get you up in three hours. Go back to sleep. If I don't, you're gonna rat on me? Hey, anyway, I hope you okay. What do you think I'm gonna do? Go out and start punching people at this point? I have no idea what you're gonna do. What's that mean? I've seen you, Audra. Get a couple drinks and you, you push people away. And I don't mean like you stop talking to them. You literally push them away. So yeah, I can see a future where somebody gets you alone and gets you drunk at just the right time. Like after losing a game. And you'd snap. And of course, they started. Of course, they pushed you first. But here's the thing, Audra. You're always getting pushed. On the court, in life, wherever. You're always just getting pushed. I'll keep the pride thing going because I am always getting pushed. I don't know anyone that gets pushed as much as you do. That's because you don't know anyone like me. For the past four years, everyone's just been waiting on me for screw up. If I have a good game, not a great one, just a good one, I'm a disappointment. They ask, what happened out there? Why weren't you brilliant? Even Sophie does it. Even you do it. Because I'm trying to help you be the best. Everything I've ever done since the day we met has been for you. Which is why you can't make this a deal. What? Sophie's going to kill me. I'm not supposed to tell you that I know about the deal. You can't take it. Oh boy. Why not? Because this is destroying my faith. There's not one part of this that has anything to do with basketball. The thing I love more than anything, more than myself, this thing I wanted so hard to be good at, even though I was too slow and too short. I joined the WNBA because think there weren't dollar signs floating around everything. It was about the game, it was about the passion, but now we only talk about money. You want to be a role model? Then don't take the easy way out of this. Accept responsibility, take the punishment, and lose the playoffs. If that's what it means, then yeah. So you want me to lose? Of course not. Believe me, I have a whole plan. We win this championship, maybe win a few more, my resume starts looking real good. In 10 years, I'm coaching the team myself. I take this deal, none of that changes. Yeah, it does, because then I'm involved in it. I'm signing non-disclosure agreements and trying to keep quiet about it. And that's not why I'm here. I want to win. I don't want to win like this. So you take this deal, then what? You take this deal, then what? You've broken some that isn't getting fixed. You take this deal, I'm out. Out? Yeah, out. Leaving the team. Leaving the links. I have an offer, assistant coach for the Atlanta Dream, and Patrick's a dinosaur, so it's maybe five years until he retires, which means there's a good chance I'd become head coach. I want to stay here, I want to make history with you and Sophie, but if you do this, you can't put this on me, well, that's what I'm doing. No, you can't do that. You can't put your career decision in my hands. You always were, Audra. If you're going to leave, then leave. But don't pin this on me. No, I need you to hear this. I need you to make sure you understand exactly what's happening here. If I leave, if I take this offer, it is absolutely 100% because of you. So if he asks why I'm leaving, I will say it was Audra. If Patrick asks why I took his offer, I will say it was Audra. If you want to ask, I will just point at you. You need to realize that what you do, anything you do has a chain reaction. That's why everyone pushes you. You decide salaries, you decide jobs. You have a lot more power than you realize. If this deal is what you become, if this is what the Lynx has become, then when you're playing next season, the only time you'll see me is when you're playing Atlanta and I'm on the other side of the court. Because that's what you've done to me. That's where he bitched me, but I can see his point. Don't do this, Dak. It's done. It's not. It's up to you now. What if I don't know what the right thing is? Well, I'd say your instinct's been pretty good so far. We both know that's true. So I don't know, maybe listen to what your gut tells you and then do the opposite. The weird way that kind of makes sense. I'm sure we'll get some sleep. Oh man, man, I put money on you playing tonight. You need sleep.
I'm still holding it. One time I got to speak to Scotty Pippen. You know how Archer breaks the girl's hand. It's the most publicity we've ever had in years. Are you saying that you were in the, if you were in that elevator, you wouldn't have done the same? I'm saying I wouldn't have been in that elevator. So you think it's Archer's fault? I don't know what to think anymore, Tanya. You're not a bad person. You want to win the finals? You want to be important? Those aren't bad things. This is how you get them. You think the NBA got to where it is by playing a clean game? Everyone's viewership or money or a job, and that's why I'm here. The state of things to do the things that no one else wants to. You're okay with Audrey getting away with it? I don't represent that waitress. She's still a person, and I'm sure someone cares for her. Doesn't have to be me. Doesn't have to be you either. It's time to think about what you want, Sophie. I can make that happen. Speaking of which, I have calls to make. Your drink's on my tab. Oh, thanks. It's what I do. Take it easy. Ow. The fitness center is open. I was looking for you. Congratulations, you found me. No decision has been made yet. If they don't call in 15 minutes, we're just going to, to the stadium. Did you get enough sleep? As much as I could with some dude sitting there watching me. He was watching you? I mean, not really, but still. Creepy. If you can't make your way to the pay tonight, you can force some fouls. Get you on a free throw line. If that doesn't work, we'll run 6 9 9 8 in the 4th. It's game one, so you don't have to be at your rest tonight. I mean it, I don't want to see you out there being over aggressive. You don't need another Tulsa to happen. It's not going to be another Tulsa. Are you just saying that? No. Talk about Jordy. See a guy who's made thirty-three million in one season. Really see an alleged womanizer with a gambling problem. And sure, no one cares about that because he's Jordan. Maybe he doesn't care about that. Maybe he looks in the mirror like everyone else and he says it's cool because I'm Jordan. And maybe that's what you think it's cool because I'm Audrey V. Mills. What do I have to be scared of? I'll tell you this. You're not Jordan. Everywhere you go, you're going to have to answer for this. We spent so much time making a name for you because of what you can do. But now it's time for you to realize that at some point you'll have to think about something bigger than you. That maybe there's something you should be putting over your own needs. If I'm getting a shit deal, how can I help anyone else? How am I going to have to be a role model from just getting pushed around? If I'm not looking out for me, then who is? I've been calling you. Everyone's trying to find me. I'm trending. Why aren't you answering your phone? I turned it off. If you heard anything, either of you... Okay. What's going on? We, uh, have to rethink our plan a bit. What did you mean? do answer that. I don't have a good reason. I just don't want you to. I'm going to have to answer that. Yeah, go. Oh, and by the way, that last part, that's why LeBron is better than Jordan. Yeah, bitch, I said it. What's up? We're, uh, so Russia's not happening. What? You can't, uh, you can't play for Russia. 
anymore. Why not? Because of the scandal. It was self-defense. You pushed me first. I was just not that scandal. The other one. The first one. Russia said they didn't know you were bi. And the Russian Premier League is not interested in promoting a player who is openly bisexual. It goes against how they say it. The image they want the country's top athletes to project. Are you serious? Half the women on that team are gay. But how many of them are open about it? In the media. So... So, effective immediately, no. Yeah, no. I fought as hard as I could. I know, but we need to fight harder. Great, if that's what you want, I'm right there with you. So, the next step is we have to, will do. What's the news? She knows? About Russia? Yeah, well, so does Gary and Daniel. So what happens? Daniel's stepping down. At the end of the season, she'll no longer be WNBA president. She's going to announce after the finals, but seeing as how she was leaving to focus on the non-profit she started, that's fighting to put an end to violence against women. It seemed like an appropriate time. Shit. What'd she say about the position of the WNBA is that they condemn violence in any form from one of their players. And they will be insisting in conducting a full investigation of what happened that night. That's it? No suspension? Not yet? Probably not until next season starts. Ah, damn, that's great. Okay, we got work to do. You ready to win a game tonight? Always, had a girl. Don't think about Russia tonight. We got a championship to win. Go out there and make some magic. By this time tomorrow, we should wait. For what? Yeah, I don't think I want you to play. Tonight? Quarterfinals, I think I'm benching you. Or you're benching her. I'm benching her. Yeah, I'm benching you for the playoffs. Seriously, you can't do that. Actually, I can. Danielle told me she would support whatever decision I make. So this is my decision. Accept it. Have fun losing tonight. You're making a bad move, Sophie. Let me feel good about this. Yeah, I think I do. I really do. Look, Audra. I know it's not what you want to hear right now, but you've had a rough day. You're going to need some rest. You can spend that time figuring out what you want to do next. I'm sure Tanya can get you another team in the EuroLeague, right, Tanya? I should probably be violent. <laughs> what should I do? I mean, like, fervor scandal? Um. The fuck? Audra! Ah, are you okay? Let me see. Audra, let me see. Fuck, let me see. Uh oh. It's fine, we're fine, it's okay. I just. Wait, what cameras? Oh, that's a window, not a, not a mirror. End of quarter. Los Angeles. Four years earlier. So, welcome to the WNBA. Thanks. Which do you like better, race cars or blueberry muffins? Is this like a riddle or something? You live with one thing but not the other. Which would you choose? Race cars. Which means one of you is going to Indiana, the other is going to Minnesota. Now they're both exceptional teams, and while I have an opinion, I want to know your thoughts. Indiana's got race cars, while Minnesota's apparently famous for blueberry muffins. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a bathroom break. I'll be right back, folks.
All right, camp folk, I'm back. So not only did I take care of some business, but I'm also starting on my laundry. So let's jump back into things. As I look up, I figure I'd see what you prefer. Okay, then. 
Can I change my answer? Those muffins looking pretty good. Muffins all the way. Perfect. Seriously, what kind of name is the Fever? Do not call yourself Ebola. Or I'm trying to give another disease. Smallpox. Right. What a joke. So Minnesota. I like Sophie. I feel she gets me. Good, I agree. I think you two are a nice fit. Okay, boom, done. Oh shit, forgot to switch back to live. Sorry guys. Okay, boom, Minnesota, let's make this happen. If you're already seeing the game in the middle of conversation, your progress in that conversation will not be saved. Why well, just run out of the dial right now so you didn't miss a whole lot? What? I mean, we can't decide that. Indiana's got first pick. What do you choose me? Not going to happen. Nice vote of confidence, Saya. Oh, make no mistake, you're the best. Which is why I have an idea. It's a little sneaky, but just follow me here. Have you met with the fever coach yet? Darn, no. Good, don't. He'll schedule a meeting with you. He already did, for Thursday. Don't show up, seriously? Blow him off. He's already on the fence about you after you hit that girl. So you just don't show up. You'll hurt his pride, he'll go to Desiree, and Minnesota will have to choose you. Is that, like, legal? Absolutely. I mean, it's not going to be a great first impression. For one thing, you won't be first pick overall. That can't be a race. Neither was Jordan Kirby or Kobe or Bored. Bird. I'm not worried about that. But more importantly, people won't like it. You'll burn at least one bridge. You may want to stay out of Indianapolis for a while. Hold on a second. Well, but, uh, you know who was a first round? But, um, do you know who was a first round draft pick? That's right, LeBron James. Or maybe I'm not. Taking the links to the finals, what do you say? You need to get away from NASCAR. Well, that's a Ford, and Indy 500 is a whole lover, but yes. I like that attitude. Deal? Sure. Fourth quarter. Indianapolis, October, 8.13 p.m. And Minnesota calls for another timeout. Three minutes left in the first quarter. The Fever leading 11-6. Aaron is shaping up to be one of the lowest scoring first quarters in WNBA Finals history. That's right, Jim. Both teams seem to be filling each other out. And Sophie Morton's figured out how to compensate for the lack of Audrey B. Mills on the court. Definitely, after a heck of a bad day, it's not surprising to see Mills missing from the floor. We all saw that video from earlier, and we've been told she's recovering after punching that hotel window. But she's nowhere to be seen. Not in the locker room or the crowd, as far as we can see. She's MIA. Yes, I imagine it's been a long day for the Lynx, and it clearly shows. You really seem to be struggling tonight. What the hell, Audra? What the hell, you? Why aren't you at the game? Oh, shit, there's a game? Why aren't you at the game? Sophie told me you stayed behind. I knew what that meant. You have no right to be mad. Our agreement has always been when the season's over. When well, the season's over. Do you see me on that court? How many have you had? Four shots in, my friend. So if you want to join me, just know that I have a head start. The bartender stepped out for a smoke, but he'll be back in a minute if you want anything. Go back to your room. Sleep this off. Tomorrow you'll sit with us, cheer us on, and show everyone that you're... I'm done, Zach. Everyone's telling me what to do. I'll do what I want to do. What's that? Tell the truth. I don't know. 
Where's Tanya? On a plane? I think she's going to drop me when she gets back. She's not going to do that. I wouldn't blame her if she did. I drop me. I'm very droppable right now. Are you going to drop me? You're not taking the deal, right? I'm a man of my word. Looks like we're stuck with each other. Seriously, you'd coach the Atlanta Dream? I think I could make them good. Phil Jackson couldn't make them good. You sure you still want to coach me? Shouldn't. No one should. That's not true. Oh, really? Do you see that score? That's because of me. Who does that? How could you want to be around someone like that? Because you're more than your actions? There's going to be a lot for anyone I care about forgets this. Everyone you care about is strong enough to forgive you. And you're strong enough to be forgiven. Not right now. I'm precarious things, Zach. You shouldn't be around precarious things. And yet here I am. You're a fool. No, I'm your friend. You're my coach. God damn, I'm your friend. You think I give a shit if you lose? I want you to be okay. Because I care about you. I care about you more than some stupid game. Bull. Cool. Thanks. That means a lot. You should head back. They need you. You're not precarious, you know. You're just not winning right now. But there's one thing I know about you. What's that? You don't quit. Carrie has to pick up the pace. She's too slow in the transitions. I'll let her know. I'm getting a big greasy breakfast in the morning. Want to join me? It's actually keep your head up, stay on your toes. I always do. Excuse me. Uh oh. This isn't good. You know when the bartender will be back? In a minute. Don't talk to me, it's fine. I don't have anything to give you. I don't want anything. Everything you've done to me, what? I get a drink here sometimes after work, it's quiet. What do you do? It's a super important job. I'm host at trophies. Not my name, just call me the victim. My official name is the victim, but anyone who knows me knows that it's... Eventually my boss let me go home. I imagine it's a bit weird watching your hostess getting her ass kicked in an elevator. I imagine that's Vald. You didn't do shit or... I imagine so. I never meant to hurt you. I was just looking for answers. Because what I didn't understand, what I still don't understand, is why you left. For the life of me, I have no idea why you left. and I just got out of a relationship I was still trying to figure out like who I was and shit I realized what I was doing I was like oh fuck I'm that girl the girl who meets someone she admires and the first thing she does is both word got out what if what happened answer that one didn't we oh this isn't like the abuser wrecking consign with the victim and shit. Traffic overall, Starboard and Gonzaga to get all of your facts right. 
This guess is going to keep following me wherever I go. It is always going to be on my Wikipedia page. And oh god, no. On your Wikipedia page? Not your Wikipedia page. Why are you here? What do you want? More money? Because I have any. a check for all of it. Everything you paid me, I never spent it. Never asked for this, I just been fine without it. You did a bad thing, and you got caught, and now seeing how you're acting, seeing how little you actually, I don't want your money, plus you probably need it since you're so super poor now. Hey, do you know how little I make it a little in the WNBA? So maybe I'm not the person to talk to about that. Anyway, here, take it. You don't want it, fine, but no doubt I don't need it. Great, then maybe you can donate to your president's charity. What about violence against women? It's not violence against women if the one doing the violence is a woman. Uh-oh, here we come with the ASAP. You know how stupid that sounds, right? Like, just think about the words that you said, maybe repeat them to yourself. So you can spot the problem. I'm gonna turn 100% douche. No, fuck. I didn't mean to do that to you. That doesn't matter. Do you know I have to turn away when I see your face on TV at work? Do you know I won't let another person so much as touch me since that night? Do you know what it's like to be scared of everyone that comes near you? Do you possibly know what it's like to not trust anyone? Yes. Welcome to my life. Bitch, you are so full of shit. And you're the person I'm playing as. You know I played point guard in high school? Really? That's what I wanted to do. It's like all I did in school. I went to John Marshall. It's a small school, a 2A school, and our coach was the chemistry teacher. First we ever got was the semi-states. I'd say I could have been you because you're you, but I had no idea how far I could have gone in my life. It had been a little different. I couldn't afford college, so I got a job at Trophies. And that's the rest of my life until I get married or come across a wild of pile of money. Or I don't know, shoot myself in the face. This, this right here, is the close I'm going to be to greatness. I'm sure you're great at other things. Like what, Audra? What am I great at? What makes me significant? Do you know why I didn't turn you in? It wasn't because of the money. Because I had no idea that there was actually evidence out there. If I had walked into the police station with, what would I have said? So I know I'm just a hostess at an airport bar. I have nothing to back this up. But I swear, officer, the star player of a rival women's basketball team broke my hand in an elevator after we fooled around her hotel room. I would have been shut down before I even finished that sentence. You're going to be remembered so, for so many things. This is it for me. This may be what you are right now, but this is all I will ever be. The cocktail racers will got ass handed to her by Audrey Mills. I'm a water cooler joke. You'll play again next season. Keep being amazing at what you do. It's going to be hard for me to do anything significant after this. I promise a friend I'd turn in after this drink, so. What can I do? I want you to look me in the face. I want you to apologize. I want you to admit that you've broken me and there's nothing left in me, all because of you. I want you to apologize for what you did to me, and I want it to be real. Don't say if it's not real. Apologize. I'm sorry, I am. But you're not the only one in pain. Oh, you still can't see how you fucked up. It's about leaving a legacy, trying to be a role model. And look, I know that you're... Don't touch me. You don't get to do that. You don't get to touch me. Fuck you. I admire you. You fucking don't you. You don't get to. You... Okay, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by a stone. You know what, fuck it. Don't touch her. I know. Welcome back into the first quarter here with Sophie Morton. Sophie, we of course know this hasn't been the Lynx's finest hour. That seems to be translating to performance out there. Would you agree with that? 
Well, Aaron, first I want to say to all of that the Lynx are saddened by today's events. There were a lot of emotions going around all day. But our goal now is to focus on the game. Now the Fever is currently holding a pretty healthy lead. What do you need to do to close that gap? Well, we need to do a better job. We're letting them get to the paint, and we're putting them on the foul line. We're getting bullied out there, so we just need to have better control of our defense, and we just, yeah, we have to do a better job. It's as simple as that. Just do better. Another round. Road ahead. End of game. Watch me jump. So that's the game, I guess. Created by Jeremy Gable based on his play of the same name. That's pretty nice. Crazy and Game Air Serial, Philly Nickers Dialogue, created by Juju Adams. Testers. Yeah, not a bad game. It's short, as you can see. Um, yeah, pretty interesting twist on the hero. It's like one of those games where it's not about saving the world or some shit. It's, you know, it's one of those uh, games as art games. If you, well, not so much art, but as like, um, but as, uh, what they say, um, literature, games as literature, because sometimes you can have a game that's like a piece of literature. By the way, thanks for playing, and thank you guys for watching. Because I know no one's watching the stream, you're probably watching the replay. That's all, and that's all good, too. Press enter, E to start the game. So you can, I guess I can go back through it to, like, with different dialogue options, but like it's pretty cheap if you want to get it on Steam. But that was Watch Me Jump, so that's gonna be it. And I'm gonna call it. And I'm gonna call it a day. Thanks for joining me on this live stream, and peace out.